Hey everyone, I'm Ultraviolent4 and I'm welcoming you to part 10 of Fair Dragon Fire Elementalist. It's my CASA tutorial. We're currently standing outside the door into the main vault of Elf 3. It's a very scary place to be. Um, I happen to know that we can walk through this door, it's okay, because there are more doors inside. Um, how about I show you? <laughs> okay. Alright, so the actual entrance inside is going to be, I think, through this door, and then there might even be one more door, and then in the middle here there's going to be all the scary elves. Um, don't charge in. I don't care if you have Firestorm at this point, if you went ahead and got that, it doesn't matter. The amount of damage that the Elf 3 elves put out is too damn high. You cannot fight them all at once. I mean, you can. <laughs> but it's very dangerous, so not recommended. The standard way you want to do it, if you're a melee character, you're probably fine digging some kill holes and then going to chill in those. Um, this particular vault makes that a little bit harder because we've got these stone walled rooms here first. So what you do is you basically try to draw them out. Uh, but, as a magic user, we don't really want to be stuck fighting enemies while in a kill hole. What we'd rather do is draw them out one at a time and just bring them into the open and then blow them out up. Don't charge into the vault. One at a time. Um, so let's check. Near the end of the last one, we found an acquirement scroll and we acquired jewelry. And we picked up this ring here with RF plus, iron plus, MR plus, dex minus 2. I think I would rather wear that than the ring of poison resistance. At this point we don't have any RN at all and you can get bolts of draining from the um, deep elf death mages. So I'm more afraid of that than I am of any poison. Um, deep elf annihilators can have um, poison arrow but again, less afraid of those. So let's put that on instead of poison resistance. And I'm actually I'm willing to try something a bit crazy here. I've never done this before. I don't know that I've ever had this vault when I might be able to. But what I'm thinking of doing is potentially using our LRD to blow open this wall and see if we can gain access inside. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if that's going to help. Wait, let me see. <laughs> let's, uh, let's check these inside rooms first before we spend 20 turns blowing up these outside walls and then finding out it's just an outer chamber. Uh, but what I... Oh, blinking scroll, they're always good. What I'm planning is that we could maybe chill out here behind the deep water pull these elves who are inside out to that place where they can't actually get to us because they can't fly and then with zero risk we could blow them up alright so I think the way that works is all these doors are going into the inner chambers um, so this will kinda work I want to do it from the outside though because if I start doing it here the noise from LRD is going to pull elves through those doors so we're going to go back around. Okay, and we want to blow up somewhere that's in the deep water. So we're going to go for here. This is some... Um, whoops, that's not the right spell. Uh, yes, I'm accidentally blowing up the servitor. This is some sort of next level tech here with Ultraviolet 4. And I could go open a door but there might be a bunch of elves standing behind it so let's I did it again um, let's blow open the wall again okay we did it but there's still nothing in here hmm what if we digging one now no more rock walls uh, one thing we could do is LRD does blow up walls so from a safe distance we can exploit that and there's still nothing coming Alright. <laughs> okay. These next level strats are not paying out. We'll just keep exploiting our way in. 
Because then we can... Okay, this definitely looks like where we've found the inner chamber. So how about we we yell a bit? Can we get some elves to come? Oh, there's one. Okay. Uh, yeah, here they're coming. So let's fly back over the water. And now we can just fight them all from over here. Where we're still going to be trying to um, draw them out one at a time to fight them. But now we have a guaranteed escape route because we can fly back over the water. And if I think about it, we should blow this open too. Because then we can fly all the way back to the stairs. There we go. Alright. So now we've got an entire escape route. Alright. This is not your everyday strat, but if you're a caster, you've got LRD, you can try this. Um, so I think I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. Uh, the amount of spell power that you need for Passwall to blow up stone walls is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have it. If you don't have that, um, you can quaff Brilliance to up your spell power. Or you could also wield a Staff of Earth. Both of those things, potentially, if you haven't trained any Earth magic. That's more relevant sometimes when you're trying to blow your way into Zot 5. But yeah, so there are ways to get to that amount of spell power, even if you don't have the requisite training. But we're there, so it's okay. I'm just going to keep blowing up walls. I feel like a vandal. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to rest to get a HP back. This is a Master Archer. Um, he will not care about being on the other end of deep water because he's ranged. He'll just, he'll happily shoot us. That's alright. When you're fighting these elves one at a time, it's usually fine. Uh, okay, so now we need to start running. We've got two of the scary ones at once. Heading back towards our thing. The annihilators are scary on their own because of their over 100 damage crystal spear. Alright, we got him. Uh, let alone having a demonologist at the same time who could potentially summon fiends. Let's keep going. I think you have a, a roughly 10% chance for this to work. Uh, there we go. And I learnt recently that um, that percent is flat. If you've got the requisite spell power to blow up stuff with LRD, Having even more spell power doesn't increase your odds. It stays the same. Oh, there's the there's the RN dude we were just talking about before. I like this. I'm gonna do this more often. I have never done this before. Yeah, good. Let's back up again to heal up our magic regen. It's really, crawl is much easier and safer when you fight enemies one at a time. <laughs> I mean, you can't... Let's just fireball him because... Is he wearing maybe like a plus six evasion ring or something? Our bolts of fire all just missed. But yeah, I mean, you can't guarantee that you fight enemies one at a time even if you have perfect play if such a thing exists but where you can try to make it happen and there's really no hurry we just we take our sweet time we don't anger too many elves at once there's a ring plus two protection at this point we have 15 AC and then also, 27 evasion and 26 shield. Uh, those latter two especially are pretty high. Um, do I value two extra AC over having extra magic points out of a ring of magical power? I'm going to say no. If this were earlier in the game, where um, we have much lower HP, so every point of AC is extremely important, that decision might change. 
Uh, okay. So we got a Master Archer and an Annihilator at the same time. Um, as we've talked about, the Annihilator can do 100 damage, 102 damage with a Crystal Spear. So we need to get away, get our HP back. Um, he can't follow us. He's got one more turn, he's not going to kill us from there. Okay. Alright. Oh boy, okay. Oh, we've got a bunch. It's alright. The, um, this guy. The Blade Master has no ranged attack, so we can just fight him from here safely. Both the Blade Master and the Master Archer, neither of them can see invis. So if you need to, um, good trick. Quaff an invis potion. Um, the other dangerous elves can though, so it's not going to help you against an annihilator. Silence does though. We have a scroll of silence, so that's always um, a good panic button if your foe is a annihilator. I wonder if this is the treasure vault that I'm digging into here. <laughs> Maybe not. We've only. Oh, wait. I was going to say, we only have a few digging charges, but we actually have 36, so I'll just wander digging in and see. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Thought I was being really clever, breaking into the end vault, steal all the loot, and just leave. Uh, okay, we've just found an artifact amulet, a rune buckler, which I don't think we will want, and an artifact longsword, which we're going to test. Because who knows what magical properties it has. Got plenty of identify seven, so we're gonna do the amulet. Oh wow, okay. So this is a crazy amulet. We currently have a plus three amulet of protection. This new artifact amulet is also a plus three protection amulet. Um you see the shield plus three at the end, but gives us RLEC, Dex plus two, and plus three slaying. I mean, the plus three slaying doesn't matter much, we're not really mailing anything, but to get our elect is really strong. So we're going to put that on immediately. And let's check out this longsword. Um, wow. RF minus and RC minus. No, thank you. Put on the buckler just for completion's sake, but um, we're going for a shield. Speaking of which, I completely forgot we've been training only shields for a while. Let's check our spell list. Spellforge serves is down to 4%. That's pretty low. It's still yellow, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to turn back on fighting and dodging. And we're going to train all three. And the most important of those, I think, at this stage is fighting. So we're going to focus that. Uh, the more HP we can get, the better. So this is, if we find nothing else, I will say that this elf trip has been worth it just for that amulet. It is pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, Blade Master. We're quickly getting back to the deep water. They're really fast. And they will do a lot of damage very quickly. Especially if you have low AC. If you're a low AC character and you meet a Blade Master, uh, you can't let him get up in your grill. <laughs> um, this looks like the treasure room though. I reckon if we blow this tile up, we can get amongst that treasure. Swiggity swiggity, coming for that booty. Booty as in, like, spoils. Of course. We'll rest up. <laughs> I wish I had a repeat previous action key. <laughs> this is what it would work really well. Uh, it's the back tick button, which I've recently learnt the name of too. Thank you to. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but I have your name written down. So if you're, if you're not like me and you put a macro on your back tick button, that would make this a lot easier. Because you could just do one and then you hit back tick and it would just repeat previous action. 
How about we go closer, so I don't need to at least press it so many times. There we go. Oh no. Is that... Okay, never mind. It wasn't even true. Oh, I tried my best. He's an elementalist. He's making all these guys. I hope they can't swim. Looks like they can't. Otherwise, you'd be getting chased by a lot of elementals right now. Dude, he's got another artifact weapon. I'm gonna try that out. Oh, and a ring of evasion. Let's see. Plus three evasion. No. Would rather have the extra ammo. Oh, sorry, the extra magic points. We've got 30 evasion as it is. So it's not a huge deal. And this, I did not pick it up. Let's try again. Brightly glowing rapier. Oh, it's a distortion weapon. Okay. Um, plus three in. No. <laughs> we'll stick with our, our spear. Um, and I hit Aura Explorer, which was bad of me. Here's, here's the normal, regular entrance here. So what you do is... Um, we've been drawing them out one at a time and then across the water. But what you do is you'd... Run in here, you get one or two's attention, you'd run back out and you try and fight them here one at a time um, without attracting too many, which is kind of what we've been doing, but just with the added benefit of being able to then escape across the water. It's like a guaranteed exit. And then I'm going to do a bit of yelling. Yeah, should have done that earlier before I walked so far into the chamber, just to make sure we weren't getting sandwiched like that. Okay, good, and we'll back up. Okay, good. We'll yell a bit here at our quote unquote entrance. Okay, no one's coming. Uh, we'll head over to the other side first before we start heading into the bowels. Alright, good. And we could blow our way in, but I think we're probably okay at this point. We've killed quite a few dangerous or uh, not orcs, elves. Here's the singing sword. We don't really care about that. Um, it's an interesting item, though, if you're a, a sword user. Um, what have we got? That's a Necronomicon. Uh, that this book literally just had simulacrum. <laughs> uh, we've picked up a bunch of different staves. Um, I guess we can check them out. I'm trying to remember if there are any we need. I've just noticed the ring of the mage, which I'm very excited about. Wizardry, MR++, int plus three. Uh, so that's cool. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go backslash minus, see what staves we don't know. Are there any we actually care about? Not really, because as a small species, we would have to use, we'd have to lose our shield. Um, if you're a Draconian or a Deep Elf, you can use a Staff with your Shield or Buckler just fine. And the ones that you want, uh, Energy is quite good because it removes your Hunger costs. And with a little bit of Evocations training, you can channel it to get your mana back, so that's pretty good. Um, we have no Hunger costs as a Fairy Dragon, and it's really nice. Would recommend. Uh, you can also go for a Staff of Power, which gives you additional magic points, like wearing our um, our ring, our magical ring, what is that called? Of magical power, <laughs> that's the one. And finally, you can use enhancer staves, so we're mostly using fire spells, well it's fire and conjuration, so if you had either of those staves, um, they would boost the spell power of your spells. Or for instance, earth would help us with um, LRD and also Iron shot. Yeah, staves. Um, that's an interesting ring. Do we have that? That is a straight upgrade over our um, just plain ring of seeing visible. Um, and I think I answered I don't really care about staves. So I'm actually going to go to my auto pick up and say stop picking them up because I don't really care very much. Uh, we already found wizardry. That's the one that I would maybe want to use if we really need a firestorm for some reason. Or deflect missiles, which we still have not found. No, no deflect missiles in this game. Um, 
and then I wanted to put that ring onto Z, which is the letter that I always have my C and Viz ring on. Alright, cool. Uh, this one had summon butterflies in it, which if you have the spell levels for, is pretty much always worth getting. Um, it's in our hidden list, of course. Uh, you don't need to use it very often, but it can be extremely handy. Alright, so if you don't know this, it just makes millions of butterflies. It's particularly good when trying to block line of sight between things that can hex you, but also in just making space. So I'm thinking of the orb run, it's really good on. Or even if you're just trying to run back to the stairs to get away from things, these butterflies will help you. If you think of just a little bit before, when we had the Annihilator and the Master Archer both chasing us as we were trying to get back across the water, if we made a whole bunch of butterflies first and then ran, all those butterflies would be blocking shots coming in. And we need a rest because I can't see what items I left on the ground. <laughs> uh, book, we still, there's Crystal Spear. Um, and Firestorm apparently. What does Crystal Spear look like? Just for science. 41% chance to fail. We'd have to train a fair bit more for it. Um, are there Amnesia Scrolls? There are. So we could potentially upgrade from Iron Shot to Crystal Spear. It's not necessary though. It has, it does more damage both for us and when our Spellforge Servity uses it. But I'm trying to show you that you don't need these really high level spells to win. Iron Shot is more than sufficient. And because it's more than sufficient and our offense is fine, I'd rather we have more defense. All right, and finally, the Ring of the Mage here, Wizard, Wizardry, MR++, Int plus 3. So we're already at max MR, but this could add even more. <laughs> so I think it's kind of funny. Let's chop our Wizardry Ring, because if we're going to have Wizardry, this one's just better. Um, I would rather have the MR ring that we picked up before for the second point of RF and some RN than this one, um, I think. Let's put this on instead of magical power and let's see. With this on, we could almost cast ignition as is. We didn't have enough spell levels though. Let's see. I think at this point we could get rid of sticky flame. Um, and there's a reason for this. Um, would I rather this or would I rather have magical power? I think I would rather have magical power just on our day-to-day -day business. <laughs> um, we've already got, as I said, we've already got max MR, so the MR++ is irrelevant. It's basically just an int plus three wizardry ring, which is, um, maybe if we were trying to cast something bigger, it wouldn't matter, but we're not. It's not a big deal. But I want to pick up Ignition, so let's find an am- wait, let's actually finish going through the loot here. We might find Deflect Missiles, not there. Manual of Short Blades, no, no plans for that. And still no Deflect Missiles. I really want that spell. You will make this character so much more survivable. Okay, no Deflect Missiles, unfortunately. Um, we are carrying a plain amulet. I don't care what it is, it's not going to be better than this other amulet that we've picked up. <laughs> um, I mean, we can ID it just in case you want to know. I know some of you will find that unbearable to just leave it without knowing. <laughs> um, an amnesia scroll. Let's go get one. Hello, Annihilator. We have our elect now, so we're not so afraid of you. Why are you so evasive? We're just going to fireball him. He had an artifact ring. What's the bet that it's evasion plus six? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, is that a better C invis ring? Uh, the other C invis ring we have is RC plus and some strength. This is RF plus. We've already got two pips of RF. I think having the RC one is maybe better. There's some reason we need two pips of protection from cold. I doubt it, but who knows. 
Um, at this point, we're strong enough that we don't really need Sticky Flame. Um, if things get in melee with us, we have more than enough um, fire powered and magic points to just keep hitting them with bolts of fire. So goodbye Sticky Flame. Um, it's another spell that's relatively low level that when we get rid of it, our servitor will no longer do. And I want to learn Ignition. Um, where is... Oh, Firestorm went from our list and went into the hidden list. Interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to learn Ignition. Uh, what Ignition does is basically... Um, gives you a scroll of immolation, <laughs> but one that you can continually cast. It makes a fireball around every enemy on screen. Does Never hits you, never hits your allies. Uh, if you have multiple enemies next to each other, all of their fireballs all hit each other. Kills crowds of enemies extremely quickly. Um, very good spell. Much easier to cast than Firestorm. It's level 8 rather than level 9. And it's only one school. Um, but still unnecessary. So why did I just learn it? Good question. Um, even though you can't cast a spell normally, as I said before, there are other ways to cast spells. Uh, wizardry helps, and Brilliance both help. So I can foresee a situation, um, particularly when and if we go to Slime for our third rune, where we need to blow up a lot of enemies very quickly, or else we're in trouble. Uh, could Quaff a Brilliance, could put the Ring of the Mage on, and then we'd be able to cast it. If we even just put on the Ring of the Mage, what does that do? Brings it down to 22%. If we then quaff to Brilliance as well, I'm certain that we could cast this, even without training for it, which is cool. And we've got two spell levels left. Do we want more spell casting to get more spell levels and more mana? We have 44 magic, and that's even without our ring. 53 magic points. No, I don't think. That's already crazy, especially with Vehement giving us magic back all the time. I don't think we need any more spell casting. Uh, the time that I will want it is if we ever find Flex Missiles and we really need the levels, but I guess not for the moment. Alright, so on we go. The next step in our journey is into Depths. Depths is pretty much like Vaults 1 to 4 that we did, except um, there, are off there are often um, big Vaults, like this one might be a Vault, looks like a mummy themed thing. Um, and I'd say there are more dangerous enemies on the whole here in Depths. Uh, but it's the same sort of tactics as Vaults. Uh, let's blow up the Boggets first because they can summon Shadow Creatures. Uh, in which case there will be lots and lots of enemies. And if I could just blow up... Okay, we've got one Hell Knight. I'm happy. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're about to meet a bunch of trolls. Actually, I'm not sure I'm happy. I think I take it back. Uh, if nothing else, let's regen first. Do so we have... We've got potions of invis. Um, the Hell Knights can't see invis, so we could potentially quaff that if need be. Uh, but we're alright. We bring these trolls up, and then we blink away. And then we blink away. And now we blow them up. Oh yeah, crystal walls. We can bounce our spells. That's nice. Again, regen. Okay. The, the Hell Knights, fire is not going to do much to them. Which is why I'm going for... Wow, what a blink. <laughs> uh, which is why I've been going Iron Shot for them. It really is quite a nice... We miscast blink. 3% chance for that. We miscast Blink again? What is happening there? Uh, let's not hit ourselves. And we want Iron Shots. Nice. Demon Trident and Piercing. Not the elect. Can we hit... Yes, all three of those guys. Excellent. 
Okay. We've got two pips of RF, so even though the fire giant is throwing fireballs at us, I'm not too afraid of him. And that reminds me, I cast that regen and it immediately went dark, which means it's running out. Um, we should learn just a little bit of charms and necromancy to get that skill back up. Um, how about we turn on both of those? Charms, necromancy, we won't do very much, maybe just four levels of each, and we'll see if that works a bit better. Um, what that does is just increases the duration of the regen. It doesn't give you more HP per turn, but it's faster. Let's get away from all these guys again. Oh yeah, we still have all grabs, that's right. Even with vehement increasing our range, iron shot is still pretty short. Yeah, yeah, so here's a vault. Uh, you can see a bunch of dangerous enemies in there. Um, I think this one is closed off unless we actually intentionally walk in. But, um, yeah, so Depths often has lots of quite scary vaults. Um, can have some really scary enemies and some really scary pack enemies. Uh, you saw one of those scary enemies in here, which is the Corsic Shrike. Be wary of those guys. But your tactics are very much like vaults. 1 to 4, except you can dig in here. Uh, so we got rock walls again. So kill holes, good in here, unless you meet a uh, deep elf from, uh, earth mage who's going to blow your walls open. But beyond those guys, um, kill hole is pretty effective. Uh, plus two gloves of dex. Okay, we're going to check these other shops first. But that is preferable to plus two gloves of strength. Strength for this character and... Um, well, it depends how you like to build your mages. If you're like me and you like to have relatively heavy armor, you've got dragon armor, the strength will be valuable to you. But this character can't wear any body armor, so we'd rather have dex for more evasion than we care about strength. Um, more MR rings. Uh, you might look at this and say, wow, it's a, a magic point reg oh, it's a regen MP amulet. I really think these are not very strong. Um, the amount of regen is pretty small. I don't remember exactly. I think it depends a bit on how much int you have, etc. But it's something like... Generally, you're talking about something like one extra magic point every four or five turns. Even if it's one extra magic point every three turns, that's really not that exciting. And that's about it here. I'd much rather have the Arlek that we've got. And the reflection. Um, just MR rings everywhere. Infinite MR rings. I don't really care about these. I think we have a source of our corrosion already. Or do we not? A cloak. Not the cloak we're wearing. Okay. So I'm going to mark this for our shopping list. Uh, if we again go into slime, which I think is likely for our third rune, we want to have our corrosion. So that would be one way to get it. Uh, okay, so out of this shop, we want the dex gloves. Let's see, our evasion is 30 at the moment. If we switch to these, it goes to 33. Wow. So it's basically like, you can think of this like a plus two gloves that has uh, plus three evasion on it. That's amazing. Um, I guess we're we're really getting hurt by this minus two dex ring, aren't we? Let's take that off. Let's see. Thirty-four. So we're losing one evasion. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, because the RN does matter. Um, in depths, you can have shadow dragons. I mean, RN is by far the resistance you care least about in a three ring game. Uh, it's not till the extended game that you 
really care too much about it. Um, but if you can get it, it's nice to have at least one pip. So we may as well get it. The difference between um, 33 evasion and 34 is not going to be much. That was impossible to hit. I didn't see what buckler he had. Uh, we didn't care about bucklers, but uh, if we did care about his buckler, we would have needed to wait for him to get off the deep water before we killed him. Um, because that's how you lose your items. Nice. A quick check of our magic mapping. We've got five. Okay, that's fine. If you have um, a lot of excess magic mapping scrolls, um, at this point you can start reading them. Uh, you you want to keep five so you can map the floors in Zot. But sometimes I've had games where I've headed into depths with ten magic mapping scrolls. You can just map everything. This makes it safer. You know where all the stairs are. Yes, yeah, so it's a rune door. Um, we could, we could go stand at the the entrance here. We could use our LID to blow it open. Wait, do we know what book that is? It could be deflect missiles. We don't know what it is. Okay, I'm not going to risk it though. We've seen there's a caustic strike in there. I don't want anything to do with that. Who knows what else is in there? I'd rather just, even if that is deflect missiles, we'll just pretend that no big deal. Alright, uh, I like testing my hatches up. Do not test hatches up when there is a part of the level that you didn't explore above because we could end up in there. And I have made that mistake and trust me, you don't want to learn that the hard way. I don't know, I don't know that there are any actually other people who test hatches. Um, I got that trick from Pekek. Um, so I know he does it, but beyond that, I don't know that anyone else actually does. <laughs> it's optimal though, I promise you. Such a small, optimal thing. Oh boy, look at the, the value here. See, if we, if we had ignition here, this would be a good ignition. Wow. All that lag on there. <laughs> on all the animations. That's my computer struggling. Alright, uh, so this is fun. Uh, we've made a bunch of noise. We've got dangerous enemies running at us from both sides. Uh, we need to be especially afraid of this brigand here. Uh, he's a berserker and really fast. Quite often they have anti-magic weapons too, which will start taking away your magic. Uh, but because they're fast and they hit pretty hard when they go berserk, um, you need to be afraid of them. Also afraid of the Spriggan Air Mage, it has Air Strike, which does 150% damage to us when we're flying. Um, if this was just the Air Mage and not the Berserker coming from the other direction, I would think about landing right now, just to lower our Air Strike damage. But because this guy's running in and he's going to be on top of us very quickly, I want to blow him up first. And good tip with Spriggans. Oh man, we've got heaps of stuff coming. Is that they rely on their evasion. Um, but Fireball can't miss. I'm also afraid of the uh, Flayed Ghost here because he can flay us, which is going to start taking our magic points away. So this is extremely bad. So what could we do here? Uh, we could read one of our scrolls of blinking and say this situation is so scary that we just need to start heading back up towards the stairs. That's very possible because the other, the next best option would be to read a scroll of teleport, I'd say. And because this floor is probably mostly unexplored and this seems to be a scary vault, we've seen stone walls on both sides, and dangerous enemies running in from both sides. Um, we could land in the middle of that. It could be worse than what we can see now. 
We could have caustic strikes. We could have liches, ancient liches. Who knows? Um, so I am willing to say this situation has not gone bad yet. We're still pretty high on our HP. Still about half on our magic points. But I can see that the potential for this to go wrong is off the charts. Because we could get out of this. We could cast another fireball or two, blow up this berserker. Um, except for the air mage, these guys are all speed 10 and we could just walk away. But I can see now that, that this could go very wrong. So we cast the fireball. It doesn't kill the berserker. The flame goes flays us. Air mage air strikes us for 150% damage. The berserk death yak gets on top of us, starts hitting us. Stone Giant throws a large rock. Like there is a lot of potential for a lot of damage very quickly. So let's let's just blink now. We'll do it early. The earlier the better. And now we can start heading to that upstair. And we've got more monsters coming from the side. Um, where is the upstairs we want? It's over there. Okay. Um, how about we've got a bunch of things coming in. Uh, note that these guys, uh, well, we can't because we've seen some of his spells apparently. But Ogre Mages can have Crystal Spear, so you don't want to drop below 100 HP near them. And we've got a Titan, okay. Uh, so, emergency again. So, this is a crazy, some sort of crazy vault. We've got Titans running in. Okay, they're not your everyday depths enemy, they're a scary vault in depths. And depths enemy. <laughs> Okay, why are they scary? Um, lightning bolt really hurts, but this is the main one. Their airstrike is can be 50 damage. If you're flying, 75 damage that you cannot dodge and that is smite targeted, so it can hit you anywhere on the screen. All right, so we're in um, still a lot of trouble. Um, what do we do? We could. We could blow another blinking scroll to blink up, and then we could uh, pass wall through or even dig through. Or we could do some other tricky stuff, like maybe read a scroll of fog to block line of sight. Then we could maybe haste and run or something like that. But again, the potential for a lot of damage right now is really high. We've got two air strikers on the screen while we're flying, and a bunch of other dudes. So why don't I just stop flying? Um, because we could still take a lot of damage. 50 damage, his air strike, I don't know what max is, but it could be a lot anyway. Uh, we could take a bunch of shots. So again, we'll react early and we'll just throw, throw out a blinking scroll. And now we could pass wall through the wall here. Um, I think we'll just dig and then we'll just walk. Alright, and then let's go back up. Okay, so we know there's a Titan running around, so we want to stop flying before we go down. Uh, we're going to regen. Uh, because we've made a nice little kill hole here that these monsters might be coming up, we can try to fight these monsters one at a time, which I think is okay. Uh, Sprig and Air Majors deflect missiles, like I wish we could. So don't hit them with bolts, hit them with the one that can't miss. Uh, same against him, but apparently we're okay with Bolt of Fire. I should take him back up. I don't want to fight a Titan when we're starting to run out of mana. And we'll take him up. There's the Flayed Ghost. There's our Titan boy. Let's go back up so that he's not double zapping us with lightning shots. And I want to blink away from him because he can hit for up to 55. He's no slouch in melee. So we'll make some space and then uh, let's make a servitor to help us. We miscast it. That's great. Blink away. Servitor, please help. Okay, and in fact, it probably makes sense that we want to use our highest damage spell here, which is Iron Shot, to kill him quickly. And now that we've killed both the air strikers, let's fly again. Tingu Reva. Yeah, these guys can be scary too. 
Uh, we don't have any R poison on, and we're standing in a poison cloud, so let's put that on. Um, instead of the RN ring. Tengrivers are strange. They're very spiky enemies. Sometimes they do very little, and sometimes they just nail you with Bolt of Magma and Corrosive Bolts. And, like, two-shot you. <laughs> the point is, be careful around them. You know that they, they can do a lot of damage very quickly. Okay, uh, Iron Ring back on. I like how I call it an Iron Ring when it's also got RF and MR. But that's what I'm calling it. Let's stop flying. This floor is insane with how much dangerous stuff is on it. Multiple Titans alone is crazy. Uh, and now we've got Spriggan Band coming in. So as always, we go with Fireballs, uh, so they can't dodge them. Oh, perfect. MVP um, Servitor. Um, we've just been snookered. Uh, what we could do, how did this happen? How is there... How is there a tiny bit of wall in there, and how don't we know it? Oh, we don't, it's just black. Okay, never mind. I was thinking, there's a bit of wall there that we somehow know about. Um, so what could we do? We could pass wall there to get around this guy. Uh, we could also, I'm trying to think, I don't know that we can blow up this two-headed ogre quickly. Um... What we could do is use our Wand of Clouds against the Air Mages. Okay, yeah, that's fine now. Because uh, their evasion doesn't help them from a cloud. They're going to take that damage no matter what. Uh, we have no mana. We'll go back up. We'll get it back. And we'll fly again. I don't know. Are there more Titans? We're going to have a third Titan, maybe? Uh, what was that Demon Whip? I'm curious. We don't know. It's just... We do know. It's a Demon Whip of a Lek. Hmm. Alright, let's just pick that up. Demon Whip of a Lek. There. Okay. Um, we could run around and enchant this. I'm not going to bother. But uh, that's a really good weapon to have if we ever need to fight for some reason. Like before, um, say we'd run out of mana completely and then that double-headed ogre was still blocking our stairway. Uh, maybe, I mean, okay, probably we should then just teleport away, but maybe we could ha would have to fight. But yeah, that's why I'm picking it up. It's unlikely, it's very niche, but maybe it'll happen. Alright, so we met the Enchantress. Pretty scary unique if you have no MR or low MR. We have full MR, so all her hexes don't really matter. Um, and again, we have AoE that can hit her. So with Fireball that can't miss, you can blow her up pretty quickly. She got Distortion. A Rapier of Training. No. Okay. She has a Distortion weapon that can be a lot of trouble. Did she just go Invis? We didn't kill her, right? No, it doesn't say anything. Oh, she's standing in this one tile that we can't see. <laughs> yeah, okay. Never mind. Right. She can go invis, but normally the game will tell you when she does. Uh, we've got a hasted lich running at us. Uh, this is quite a bad situation. We're going to focus him. Even though there's a Spriggan on top of us, I'm much more afraid of the Lich. Can have Crystal Spears, can have um, Iron Shots, can summon Demons. I was trying to make a situation where we could hit both, um, but we can't. Okay, so we just fireball the Spriggan. Okay, good. Alright, there we go. What a floor. This floor is crazy. Crazy, crazy floor. A glowing hat? A plus two hat. 
I think I like the plus one AC over the plus four strength. Although, actually, yeah, yeah, okay, we've only got six strength, which is pretty low, but it's alright. Um, worst case scenario, if you're ever running out of strength and you're gonna pass out due to having zero strength, you can quaff a potion of might and it gives you plus strength. There you go. And here's a gold dragon. Is this, is this just crazy? This float we're in. It's all happening. Oh, another lich. It's like two titans, multiple liches. Here's a juggernaut and a bloody storm dragon. Alright, uh, we might need to teleport from this. Juggernaut moves really fast. See here it's attacks. Can hit for 40 damage and up to 80 damage. Their attacks are slow. You see here it attacks extremely slowly. So they won't just run up to you and then punch you three times. But their one punch that they do can really hurt. Um, so how are we going to kill this guy? I think we're just going to throw our mana at him. And if he's still not dead, then we'll teleport away. He, he really nearly is almost dead. Alright, good job Servitor. And you can finish this guy off too. Perfect. And this guy. We're backing up just in case he can't. No, he didn't. That's alright. We've got our mana back, so we'll throw out one last iron shot. And what is going on in this place? I'm glad we used two blinking scrolls. That that bad situation could have gone much worse if I tried walking away. Because we could have had Enchantress, we could have had the Juggernauts, the Liches. Titans. It was all happening. Alright, so yeah, let's there's your lesson. Run away early. <laughs> a situation can always get worse. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I accidentally did two servitors, so we just wasted some mana there. It's alright. Well maybe it's alright. If we didn't have the more titans and gold dragons and liches coming. It's like maybe we got the worst of that vault now. Getting a bunch of consumables, no really interesting loot though. Scarf of resistance. Um, I'm happy with our current cloak. We're not struggling at all for resistances. If you were, that would be a pretty good way to get both RF and RC. But we are not. That really hurt. Yeah. White, very ugly things. Um, something you should not underestimate. Especially if you don't have any RC. But even with RC, they hurt. Apparently there's a bit of upset that we don't know. I'm going to check it out. It's surely not going in there. I'm certain a regular stair would not put us inside a rune vault. Um, I guess there's a bit of missing area from here that it could be. I'm going to regen first, but let's check it out. Okay, it's this little staff room. <laughs> it's a staff room. Uh, um, we could dig this open. But a better play is to leave it because we have pass wall. So on our orb run, we might come up here. Some panlord chases us up, and then we and we just pass wall out like that. Might be great. <laughs> yeah, for how crazy that vault was! There really was not any good loot there. That's it's pretty much what I was saying before about how depths is like vaults, but just can be really dangerous in terms of having vaults and really dangerous enemies. That vault just happened to have a whole bunch. And she's a hellion. Um, we can just leave and never come back. It's a hell entrance. Uh, we don't really care about that. We're not planning to go to hell in our three room game. Um, so we're just going to leave that. And. Oh, this Crimson Imp's chasing us. 
All right, we'll have a look at depth three. Okay, uh, we're gonna leave it there. Hopefully, depth three is not gonna be as crazy as depth two was. But considering that, we came out of it pretty well because we acted early. That's the thing you need to think about. It goes for all characters, but especially on your casters. If you see a situation that looks, even if you just feel in your mind, hey, this looks like a lot of enemies, or this seems a bit threatening, take action early. Don't wait until you've lost half your HP, because at that point, everything becomes a lot more difficult. Alright, see you next time. We'll finish steps. Bye.